guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a pregnancy update so the day that you guys are seeing this i am currently 19 weeks pregnant with baby girl i'm so excited it's getting closer and we are starting to buy more things for her and get everything ready and i'm so excited because it is so much fun shopping for a little girl i just love it so currently at 19 weeks she is about the size of a mango i think which is pretty dang big and i can definitely tell because my belly has been growing a lot lately i've been feeling a lot of growing pains and i have actually been feeling her kick and move around a lot which is amazing that's literally my favorite part about pregnancy is feeling baby move and kick i can't wait until my husband can feel her kick and JJ, my son, can feel her kick. That'll be so special, and I'm so excited for that. But first off, I will start off with some symptoms I've been having the past couple of weeks. I have started having a little bit of morning sickness again. Not bad, but sometimes first thing in the morning, I will feel a little bit sick, and then I will usually drink a little bit of water, and that makes me feel better. I have been having some migraines still, which are no fun at all, but my doctor did give me some medicine, that I take as needed for my migraines. And also I figured out that caffeine helps. So, so once I have my morning coffee or if I don't drink coffee that day, usually around lunchtime I'll have a soda and that will help my migraine go away. Other than that, the second trimester has been treating me so well. I'm pretty energetic. I sleep really well at night. Lately I've been just pretty motivated to like clean and organize things and get things done. And I've just had a lot of energy to do that. So that is really nice, not being so tired all the time like I was in the first trimester because in the first trimester I was just tired all of the time and I didn't want to do anything. So having some energy back and being a little bit more normal is really, really nice. Another big symptom that I've been having, which probably started a few weeks ago, is just my shortness of breath. I run out of breath so quickly. Like I can just roll over in bed and then i'll be out of breath again it's insane and especially just running around with a toddler all the time on top of being pregnant i just am constantly out of breath and then the biggest kind of i guess symptom i've had is i broke out in a really bad rash um probably about a week ago a week and a half ago and it lasted i had the rash one day and then i the next day i didn't have it and then it came back the next day it's a really weird rash i don't really know what it's from I just get these big bumps and redness like all over my arms and my legs and it is so so itchy and like literally nothing helps the only thing that i figured out right now that helped it was to just take a cold shower and then that kind of like calmed it down and then i also would take an allergy pill and that would help it too i don't know what it's from the only time i've ever broken out in a rash like this is when i was pregnant it happened when i was pregnant with my son and then it happened again this pregnancy so I think it's something pregnancy related. Possibly I become allergic to something while I'm pregnant. It usually, the rash usually starts in the middle of the night or in the morning. And I don't know if it's maybe just my body getting overheated under the blankets and the covers and everything while I'm sleeping. I really have no idea what it's from. Yeah, that's the biggest like irritating symptom that I've had recently. And I almost did go to the ER for it one night because I could not sleep because I was so itchy. And it was just driving me crazy but i didn't go to the er if that happens again i might go to the er just to see if they can figure out what it is so that i try to avoid it while i'm pregnant because that rash is just no joke like it is horrible moving on to like my cravings and stuff nothing really like makes me sick necessarily there's nothing that just sounds disgusting to me i can't eat or i haven't even tried to eat seafood seafood it made me really sick when i was pregnant with my son and then during the beginning of this pregnancy, thinking about or smelling seafood made me feel sick. Right now it doesn't, so I could probably eat it, but I'm just not gonna risk it because I don't want anything to make me feel sick again because I've been feeling great and I don't wanna mess that up. So I've been eating pretty normal. I've been eating a lot of stuff. The only kind of like weird thing is in the morning for breakfast, I don't want any breakfast food. Like I don't want cereal. I don't, I don't like eggs. I don't want sausage or bacon none of that really sounds good the only thing that sounds good is like leftovers from dinner <laughs> or making like a turkey wrap so that's like what i have for breakfast around like 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning i will either have some like leftover pasta from dinner if we have any or i'll make like a turkey wrap i want like a real food like a real meal first thing in the morning which is really weird but the only really cravings i have is like spicy foods which is really weird because i 
hate spicy foods like I don't do spicy foods at all but all I want to eat is something like really really spicy so I've been craving that a lot so like when we have tacos or when I make chicken I will add like paprika and like red chili peppers and when we have tacos I'll add like a hot sauce on it or something just to give me that little spice because that's just really what I'm craving is just like spicy food and then usually at nighttime I will have dinner and then I don't usually eat anything after dinner except I've been craving like a chocolate bar or a Kit Kat bar just something sweet at the end of the day so I do have that at night because that's just what I'm craving but as you guys obviously know we are having a little girl which I am just overjoyed about and I think we have picked out a name officially but I don't think we are going to tell anybody the name until baby is here I kind of just want to keep it a secret and just not have everybody know I don't want to tell everybody just in case we end up changing our mind or something but I don't really know that I have much else to update on everything's pretty great I feel pretty normal other than my belly's growing and I feel it with my like shortness of breath and the growing pains down there but other than that I feel pretty normal and it's awesome I've been having a lot of energy to like do my hair and makeup every day and just get dressed and then get a lot of stuff done around the house as long as it's not raining because we live in Washington and it rains all of the time we usually take a family walk every night when my husband gets home which is super nice and it's really good for me and baby as well to keep up a little bit of exercise while I'm pregnant but yeah I will show you guys my bump right now because it is definitely growing so here is the bump as you can probably tell it has grown a lot here's from the front and then back to the other side and I can definitely tell that she's kind of like hanging out around over here most of the time. That's where I feel her kick and move a lot. So, and it's a lot harder right here. So I can definitely tell that's where baby girl is hanging out at. But I just love that my bump is growing so much. It's my favorite part about pregnancy. I will get to see her again in about two weeks. So that will probably be when I do my next pregnancy update is in about two weeks. I get to go see her again and get another ultrasound. So I'll do another pregnancy update then and show you guys what she looks like. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!